Around the outside of a magnet, we have a magnetic field. We can't actually see the magnetic field with our eyes, but we can um, see the results of the magnetic field um, using iron filings. So in this experiment, I've placed in the magnet on top of an overhead projector, um, and I'm gonna place over the top of that magnet um, some an o OHP just so that I can uh, sprinkle iron filings over here and reveal the shape of the magnetic field lines. So here's my magnet placed into, uh, onto the OHP with a sheet of um, plastic over the top of it. And I'm just gonna sprinkle iron filings over there. And you can see the iron filings um, on top of the OHP and they will reveal a pattern. And I'm gonna show you that on the board. So we've got a single bar magnet and what I'm gonna do now is sprinkle some iron filings on top um, and that will show you the field line patterns around the magnet. So the iron filings are showing that the field lines link the north to the south pole, so they curve around here. They're strongest at the two poles, at the north and the south, and then the field lines curve around from the north pole to the south pole. So the um, iron filings show us the field line pattern around the magnet. What they don't show us is the direction. So all they show us is the um, shape of the field around the magnet. In the first experiment, we looked at the magnetic field line pattern around a plotting compass, around a map bar magnet. What I'm going to do now is look at the field line pattern if I have two magnets. So I've got two attracting magnets and I'm going to place them on the overhead projector and then once again I'm going to place a piece of um, OHP plastic so that I can clear up the sprinkles easily. And then I'm just going to again sprinkle, sprinkle iron filings onto the OHP and the field line pattern will be revealed by the iron filings. So now we have two um, attracting magnets, so we have a north and a south pole. I'm going to sprinkle the iron filings on. And you can see very clearly that the uh, field lines are linking from the north to the south pole, so they're coming around from here. They're strongest in the middle, where uh, it's going straight through from north to south, um, weaker where it's curving outwards here, so the field lines are further apart. So we have strong field in the middle and then a weaker field uh, towards the edges, and it's strongest at the poles, as you would expect. In the final experiment, I'm going to have two opposing magnets. So I'm going to put north pole against north pole, like so, and again put the OHP over the top and sprinkle iron filings over the plastic to reveal the magnetic field line pattern. We've now got two repelling magnets, so we've got a north pole and a north pole, and if we sprinkle the iron filings there, you can see that the field lines are pushing outwards. They don't link between the two uh, magnets, so there's no linking. Uh, there's basically the field lines curve around away from the uh, north poles um, going outwards. They don't cross, um, they just curve around and repel each other.